I am doing very, very well. The last month I've felt a lot better. Explain Just, what happened. Yeah, exactly. Yes, Remind well, uh, July 2016, yeah. I had to have a hysterectomy. Yeah. And that was all fine. I mean, you know, it was going to be, OK, you're going to be not good for six to eight weeks, and then you're going to be fine. Well, unfortunately, within the first mm, three or four days, I started to feel incredibly ill. So much pain everywhere, mostly around here, but going into every joint and every nerve ending. And uh, being sick and hot and sweaty and confused. Mm. And I, I was in bed thinking, I am going to die. I'm dying. I know I'm dying. You actually felt that moment when you thought, this is it. Yes. And this is a very important symptom of sepsis. Everybody who gets that ill has in their mind, I am going to die. And it's a very interesting point. So if you're at home thinking, oh, oh and I've got all this pain and you've just had some kind of insult yeah. to your body where a, a bug could get in, it could be sepsis. So you must ring the doctor and say, could this be sepsis? Um, mm. And uh, unfortunately, it took a while to <sighs> diagnose mine. But the ambulance were brilliant, whoosh, straight to hospital, into resus, straight into antibiotics, and they took a blood test. And they can find out which germ is at you. Mine was E. coli, which is one of the most common ones for it. And um, I then spent another 10 days in hospital. They had to operate on me again, remove all the abscesses that threw my stomach cavity. Mm. And um, and I, need, I nearly died, and thank God for the NHS. Can you say I nearly died with a big, firm Britain smile on yeah, over your face? Yeah, but I didn't. Face. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm here. And then the resulting pain lasts for up to two years, but mine Golly. actually began to ease away about four weeks ago, and thank I'm feeling better. Goodness. Goodness for that. me. So I'm not quite as fit as I was, but mm. it's because of that, but I'm getting fitter. And when were you writing the book in the midst of all this? Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> brilliantly, it was a year I had taken off because ah. uh, I thought this is the year I'm going to be 60 so I'll have a year off writing thank goodness again because yeah. I didn't have to worry so this one I was writing in 2017 wow. so while I was sort of recovering and I could and yeah. it's you know what it's a terrific mm. terrific book I'm reading it um, at the moment it's it's a lovely Ooh. story of a teenage crush and teenage mom and yeah the girl and who's really made a big mess in her young life and she has these two babies, and she's only she's not even seventeen, mm. and um, she tries to think, I'll go and find the man who's the dad, mm. and I'll make it all better, and then she runs away, and then after she can't find him, she's too scared to go back and face the music.